welcome back to another vlog y'all let me kind of set the scene let me set it this is pretty much picking up from where my birthday vlog left off so i got back home from saint lucia last night i landed at like 11 47 um p.m and then i didn't get home until like i think like 1 15 a.m and then i go to bed to like two i shower and then that gave me some like energy and i was just like mm, i was up um and now it's 9 05 the following day well like the same that morning going into that day yeah and i'm off today so i'm trying to make the most out of it i guess i slept in because i didn't get up to like seven something but i have a ton of things that i need to get i need to do today and i feel like most of it probably won't get done just because like i'm not going to stress myself i will do what i can do that's all i can do first up we're doing something very ratchet we're doing something very ghetto very i don't want to do it very this is not my job yeah i probably know what that is is get gas i have to go fill my tank up i have a doctor's appointment at 10 a.m and then i have i'm gonna go straight to the gym so that's why i have this <laughs> my uniform on because i am ready to lift some weight i did not work out which is kind of crazy because normally i do maybe sometimes most of the time um, i also have a tan as y'all can see mm -hmm. talk to me very nice what else i need to unpack today i need to i wanted to do some errands like finally take that stuff back to ups that i've been talking about for, forever and go back to hobby lobby for some more decorations those things are probably waiting until closer to the weekend i need to order groceries i wasn't gonna go to the grocery store i'm not anymore <laughs> I, it's always a great idea until it's actually time to do it and then i'm just like mm, not exactly i really want to be home i would like to be home by one that would be good it's like I leave for a few days and I forget how to drive. I'm like, is my car in park? I don't know. Oh, I have videos. I have so many vlogs to edit. I definitely need to get at least one of those done today so it can go up tomorrow. No, today is Tuesday. Wow. So it'll go up tomorrow on Wednesday. Oh my goodness. It's the first of the month. Oh. <laughs> it's the first of the month. I have to pay bills and I have to go through my budget. Yeah, that's everything I have on here. Everything else can just wait to be done throughout the week also y'all i'm so used to being at that resort now at that all-inclusive that i might mess around and go out to eat and just forget to pay and then what i'm gonna be arrested so i'm gonna try my best to be aware that i'm not there anymore all right let me get gas so i can get to this doctor's appointment hopefully i'm just in and out in and out in and out, in and out. all right i'll be right back y'all the crazy thing is i can only get like 200 miles to a gallon a gallon is no that's that's actually amazing i can only get like 200 miles like for my tank like on a full tank that's messy i finally made it to alphaland it's 11 17. i did stop and get me a medium fry from chick-fil-a this is not how i wanted to start the um the month off it's october 1st like why would you do this i'm about to take my pre-workout because i did bring that with me oh and i'm so glad that i went to the appointment fasting i ended up having to get some blood work done y'all also i'm about to take it off you know why because i just feel like when you when you get this stuff done when you get blood work you walk around this with this one for two and three days is asking for attention i feel like it's it's begging for attention the same thing with hospital breaks it's like you're no longer the hospital there's nothing on there that the general population needs to read off of your little chart bracelet. Why do you have it on still? It gives I want attention. Oh, this is a good combination. This is a really good combination. This is blue raspberry. And then I have water and lemonade prime in here. Mmm. I don't even like juice like that, and that's good. Yeah, let me spend some time with myself. Get get right mentally. I'll probably see y'all later at Le Crib. We need to talk, okay? So I totally like didn't even think about the fact that it's fourth quarter. Like today's October the first, and I don't know about you, but I'm not letting up. Like it's all gas, no breaks. I'm gonna double down. But also, I thought about the fact that I haven't even outlined what I want to do in these last three months. What haven't I accomplished that I want to? What's changed? Review all that, thing, all those things, kind of like how I did mid-year. I've said it once. I probably said it twice. And I'm gonna say it again. You cannot hit a target that you don't see. You gotta have some type of goal, some type of something. Well, even if it's a moving target, you gotta have something to aim at. And so, I need to sit down today 
on the first when i do my budgeting when i like sit down for all of that type of stuff i need to sit down and also figure out what is it that i want to see god do in this last quarter of the year for me what the, what are my desires and try to really figure those out but what i was thinking about is not my way home something i really i really need to do and want to do is just be kind to myself and offer myself grace and it made me like super emotional because it's like i really am hard on myself i and i let it all like kind of build up and just offer myself grace and i feel like i've been trying to date myself and you see guys see me go on the solo dates and go out and do things alone i have no issue or no problems with that but i feel like there's a there's a deeper level that i'm trying to reach now like that to me is now just seems very surface and the bare minimum for myself the same way i would want for my future husband to court me is the same way i need to be um pouring into myself y'all know i don't like flowers well i don't like flowers i don't like the maintenance of flowers like you get them and then you gotta like trim them and you gotta like really cater to them you gotta change the water out you might gotta feed them i don't know the rules and regulations of flowers every single time i get them they die i don't do anything with them i literally let them sit there and then i'm like ill when i see that mold building it's like y'all all gotta go base and everything you gotta go like i don't want to see you but i want to start buying myself flowers and really like i don't know setting like yeah i've already i've already i think i'm already cultivating what i want to feel in my apartment but like having flowers out getting myself flowers you know um literally and figuratively like giving myself my flowers like there's just a deeper level i think i'm trying to reach now when it comes to dating myself outside of the outings and the self-care like on a deeper level like really be kind to myself offer myself grace love on me like speak positivity over myself and good things over myself like more than what i do think highly of what I'm able to accomplish in this life. In this moment, I, I can't find all the words that I want to share when it comes to that, but I, I think I'm getting across my point. I can't expect for anyone else. I don't feel like it's fair for me to rely on someone else to give me certain things when I don't even give it to myself, you know? And I want to absolutely be fully whole and complete and in love with life as much as I can before ever re-entering a relationship or dating because I don't I never want that person to have that much control over me where one they take me away from my focus on God they take me away from my focus on myself and I feel like I need to get my and I feel like my happiness stems from them if that makes sense my joy and everything should stem from God and I should be able to make myself happy, you know, and whole. And when someone does finally enter, he's able to only encourage us to go higher together. And I can do the same for him if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I feel the need to go like in a deeper, a deeper dive with myself. Um, yeah. <laughs> y'all up while I get ready so all right so oh I'm trying to make a long story short because y'all know I'm long-winded long-winded so I'm gonna go try this new sushi spot and I had gotten sad because I couldn't find anything to wear and so I was like you know what I'm just gonna wear a sweatshirt and I, da, da, da. And I was like making up all these things I'm just gonna like I don't know I was just getting overwhelmed because I was like I don't have anything to wear and I was like, you know what? Take a nap. You want one anyway. So I took a nap and I woke up. And I was like, you know what? I'm putting a dress on just to go grab sushi. And that's okay. That is all right. Didn't I learn this lesson the other week when I was talking to y'all? And I was like, 
just getting dressed that day made my mood so much better. Yes, I'm just gonna go get sushi, but at least I can feel cute while I get it. You know what I'm saying? And already I'm like, okay, she's a cutie, you know? So yeah, that's what I, that's, that's the story. That's the story. I'm gonna throw on these clusters real quick. And let me back up some. In case you're wondering about uh, Vlogtober, I had to make a choice. I was like, you're either going to participate in Vlogtober or Vlogmas. I would have liked to have done both, but it just didn't make sense for me to do Vlogtober because I didn't get back to the States until midnight, or really like 1 a.m. midnight on the 1st of October. So instead of trying to put that pressure on myself, I was like, you know what? Just do your regular your regular thing in October and then come vlogmas, y'all. I'm gonna try to be ready, try to deliver. I really hope that this sushi spot is like good, good, like real good, you know? Like super good. But we gonna find out together. Dang, okay, let me also give you the update. So remember like early in the vlog, like this week, I was talking about the fourth quarter and just you know, taking a look at my goals and kind of refocusing, resetting to really finish the year off strong because it's, it's not too late. It's never too late until it's over and it's not over. Like we still woke up this morning, we had breath. So like we can keep going, we can we can start over, we can keep trying. Um, but along with that, I was like, man, like I also need to um, like declutter and organize. Like I want to go through and get rid of things to make space for new things in my closet and just within my apartment um or even if i don't buy anything new i just want to get rid of things that i no longer wear this is actually something like i need to be doing every quarter because why not like it's fresh quarter i mean although time is like not real like we make up these quarters but still it's just a great time and a great spot to like go through things organize and get rid of things so we're going to try to oh i'm going to try to do that tonight but i also need to catch up on power i have not seen the last two episodes so yes even on a random Friday, I can throw on a little black dress and I can go get sushi and come right back home if I want to. I don't have to have a special occasion in order for me to look nice. That is more so a reminder to myself, but just in case you need it as well. We do not need a function or situation to be happening to get dressed and look nice for ourselves. We simply do not. Being alive is the occasion. Lashes are on now to do hair and whatnot. Have y'all noticed too that I've been doing my eyebrows a tad bit thinner? Can you tell? Well, I have been. Oh, I had a whole vlog that was supposed to go up prior to my birthday vlog. Um, it was me getting ready, maintenance, packing all that stuff. I sat down to edit it, but I was too like, excited about my birthday vlog that I just scratched it but y'all y'all know how my nails normally are I have coffin but I've always been a coffin girl for the most part I love coffin and I was like you know what I was like Ashley let's do something different let's do almond I'm gonna pop up the picture I show her and then this is what she gave me I don't know if y'all can see in this lighting but it's not the same however but y'all the amount of things I can do with my nails and my hands now those longer nails really be putting me at a disadvantage I'm gonna throw in Daisy because it's cute. Let's see as far as jewelry. I really don't have time. Oh, this is difficult. I really don't have time to do a whole bunch. I need to go. I need to be leaving. I need to leave. Um, I'm gonna see y'all there. Let me finish getting ready. It's Saturday. I'm a little tired, although I slept in this morning. Anywho, first and foremost, can we talk about 
Yeah, I know this looks crazy over here. Don't mind my hair. Um, can we talk about the sushi from yesterday? It was so darn good. Oh my goodness. It had me dancing. It was so good. Oh my goodness. And I know I'm not tripping because my friend went with me and we were both like, yo, this is so darn good. The smoked salmon was just so fresh. Like the the, the sushi rolls were just so good. Oh my goodness. And I actually ended up trying, is this red snapper and yellowtail? I don't normally eat those, but I tried those. But man, y'all, oh my goodness. I thought about it all last night. I probably went to bed thinking about it. Um, afterwards, I did catch up on Power. I watched both episodes. I don't even know how to feel. I don't really feel in the way it is what it is. I don't even understand like what they're saying. Is there more to come? Like, are we getting more to eat? Like, I'm confused, but whatever. I missed four days of work between the last two weeks because I was traveling. So they offered for us to work today, which is a Saturday. Um, and I was like, heck yeah, okay. Gotta keep the bank, gotta keep the account right. Gotta keep it right. So I'm gonna work a full eight hours today. Um, I'm about to log in now. Uh, afterwards, I'm gonna go do some cardio because I can't skip it. My goals are still important and money will never make me change my mind about that. Oh, tonight I'm having a surprise birthday party. Yes, surprise, yes, birthday party. It's actually dialed down. Like it was up here and we've actually taken it back a few steps. Like I'm not even that pressed for it anymore. Um, so we're gonna get together and talk. The lady said that they have a gift for me and they wanna, you know, they wanna all be present to kind of give it to me. So I'm, so I'm excited and I'm thankful. So I'm gonna go to that at eight. Um, in the meantime, in between time, I still need to organize. I still need to clean. I still need to do laundry. So I'm going to hopefully work on that. App, well, hopefully do that after cardio. I'm actually pretty excited to organize y'all, to organize my closet, to get rid of stuff because there are so many things, like pieces out I'm ready for for fall. Like I am so ready for fall fashion. The only issue is that I live in Houston and it's not necessarily fallish. Like I want to tailgate so bad. Like go i don't care if it's college level football or if it's um like nfl uh, nfl game like, i want to tailgate so bad but it doesn't even give tailgate weather you know what i'm saying like we just outside sweating and it's hot like, what is that what is that what even is that i miss the virginia falls It's later in the day. It's 7.05 p.m. Guess who hasn't organized a thing yet? Me. However, y'all, my friends are too good to me. They're so good, they're so sweet. So they got me this basket for my birthday. Oh yeah, so my surprise birthday party is canceled, which I'm cool with because I have things I need to do. I would have liked to see their beautiful faces, but it's fine, well, I'll see them soon. Uh, Cause two of their birthdays are coming up, so we'll see each other. Well, three of their birthday, everybody's birthdays in the fall. But this is so cute, isn't it? So I was waiting to actually open it with you guys. So that's what I'm gonna do. But first, let me get a, cause I'll be forgetting. Let me get a shot so I can have it for my thumbnail. I can't get a good picture, that's fine. Let's see what my love books get me. Oh man, we'll start here. Cause they know I have classic ones of these. <laughs> so they got me 
a shaker. So it was like, mm -mm, we're gonna upgrade you, sweetheart. We're gonna upgrade you. I have these ones. I was being cheap. I can't wait to get to these flowers. Y'all know I told you, oh, earlier in the video, how like I wanna start giving myself flowers and learning how to actually take care of them. Well, I guess they heard me or something because here we are. But let's get into the other stuff because I don't wanna mess those up yet. All right, so this is a facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. Oh, a coconut milk body scrub. I love a good scrub. Like, these people are too good to me. But here's some lip balm. Um, some more. Are they, it's given they're trying to tell me something. I put some Vaseline on my lips. Oh, they got me some more. I'm gonna have to ask them in the group chat. Like, what do y'all mean by this? Oh, I don't know. What the, oh, a rose water glow mist. Wait, hand sanitizer. I'm confused. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Is it? It's a glow mist re revitalizing hand sanitizer. I was gonna. I was gonna spray this on my face. Visibly regains skin's youthful glow. Five hundred sprays. I'm confused. I'm extremely confused. Okay, this is for your hands. Puffing I'm coffee mask sheet. I love almost anything coffee flavored. Nourishing I'm honey mask sheet. They said, girl, they said, you know what? You're gonna take care of yourself. You're gonna, you're gonna have a really nice self care evening at the house. And these people are just so thoughtful. So, this is a glass a box. What is this called? A glass cup? I don't know. This is just one more chapter. And I was like, wait, are you trying are they trying to tell me I'm out of here soon? But no, it has a book and it's for reading. It's about reading, you know what I'm saying? So how thoughtful. Um, some YSL perfumes. Yes, perfume. I've never had YSL. I've never smelled any of theirs. I don't think. So I can't wait to try the oh you wait, y'all want okay. I'll try it now. It's the cutest darn thing. It's so darn cute. How do I take this off of here? <gasps> very ladylike, very. Which one is that? Um, why do I come with a name? One's intense and one is not intense. I don't understand it, but it, de it does smell good. Ah, uh, okay, so this is the intense one and then this is the regular one. Mmm, they did good. Mmm, they did good. Put it, put it on me. Jasmine Dominique, uh-huh. God delights in who he created you to be. And even now, he is, chase he is cheering you on. Let me start over. Reading skills are not what it's supposed to be. Because you're wonderfully made, you're wonderfully loved. God delights in who he created you to be. And even now, he is cheering you on. Seeing his good work in you, shine wonderfully through. Wishing you many birthday blessings on your special day. Happy birthday, Jasmine. Love your friends. <laughs> God not only loves you very much, but also has put his hand on you for something special. First, this is the this again. This, this is one and four. Praying you can't help feeling blessed, especially today. Happy birthday. This is crazy. This is so freaking crazy. And let me tell you why. I'm getting overwhelmed a little bit. Let me tell you why. Because I was going to share this with y'all anyway. It's nobody but God. So, oh no. No. Are you going to make it? Probably not. Okay. It is so important. All right, so first and foremost, I'm so thankful to have friends and friends who are believers. And it's just so important. And the reason I say that is, and this is, it's just crazy to me that how this segues into what I was going to talk to y'all about or what I wanted to share. I was doing something the other day. I don't remember what it was, but I felt it in my spirit. And it was like, um, it reminded me of the story. I don't remember what the story is in the Bible, but I remember reading it. It was either in one, it was in one of the gospels. God healed that man based off of his off of his friend's faith. And it's so important who we surround ourselves with. 
it's so important who we consider and call friends. It's so important. If I'm not mistaken, Jesus was like in a, in a building, like either preaching or he was he was doing something in a building and there was this man who was sick or couldn't move, he couldn't do something and his friends got him up on top of the building and lured him in through some type of opening or something in the roof just so that they could get to God, to Jesus, excuse me, and let him know, like ask for healing for his friend. And I want to say the friend like got up and, and walked out. And I could be, it might not be spot on, but it's encompassing the, the story. And it's just like God, and I think God even said this, like he healed him based off of his friends, with the S, his friends' faith. What? To have friends that pray for you, to pray with you, to pray over you, and you only got to ask, especially like, bro, come on who you surround yourself with is so important in my opinion i don't think that means like to not be ever in the company of people who are not believers because how else can we do what god has called us to do and to help other people see his love and his mercy and his grace and, and all those things and to get a relationship with him if they're not introduced in some type of way you know what i'm saying so i'm not saying only i'm not saying anything actually i'm just speaking how i'm speaking right now but i'm just so grateful for my friends, they could have picked any type of card, any type of card. They even thought enough of me to pick a card that has the bitch's guide, a card, a card that has a scripture in it. One that uplifts me. God not only loves you very much, but also, but also has put his hands on you for something special. A reminder that I needed, that I have purpose and there's something special about me in me that's going to hopefully come out of me and be impactful to other people. I gotta thank you for my for my friends. Like, and it's I'm thankful. Thank you, girls. I've already sent a text to the group chat thanking them, but now that I, especially since I've seen it, I just like gotta send them another one to just let them know how grateful I am. It is 10.05 and I'm calling it a night. <laughs> Put me in the bed, please. Why is it that I can never either clean or clean and organize my apartment in one day, in just a few hours? And this, this, is, only like, this is only like 700 square feet. Now, y'all know I was talking about a house. Imagine if I actually had 2,500, 3,000 square feet it's going to literally, literally take me like two weeks to get through it all and then repeat. Like, I don't understand. What do I be, I mean, I do say breaks. I, I definitely do. But like, what do I be doing? Like, why is it so 
Like, why is it so, so long of a process? I'm, I'm not sure. However, I feel relieved or I feel like mentally a little clearer already because it's not as much stuff in here. Looking in my closet and seeing like there being more space, like more white area. Uh, same thing for my bathroom closet. Big as out. <laughs> hey y'all, it's Sunday. Sunday fun day. I'm on my way to go see one of my friends. Um, she is in town from Virginia. Her and her friends are here. I'm not sure what they're celebrating, but they're here. And her her Instagram story, they have been enjoying themselves in good old Houston. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna pull up on them really quickly. They did invite me to some of the things they were doing, but yesterday I was working all day and then I had to organize and everything. And then today, they invited me to camp at four. I'm not, I, <laughs> I'm not against camp. Camp is a good time, but that's just, I don't even know if I have anything appropriate for camp. Like, I don't know, but I'm good. Like I'm good off of it, like I'm okay. So I do appreciate the invite and stuff. Um, so I'm gonna go by before they go to camp and just, you know, speak and catch up for a little bit. But yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, I need to switch out these glasses now that I have the new ones. Cause these Malcolm X ones are not doing it for me. Also, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, this is like so random, but like I am, I didn't used to be an R&B girly for real, for real. Like I like '90s R&B, um, maybe even like older R&B stuff, but not like the newer R&B for the most part. Like there are exceptions. Over the last like three months, I have transitioned to like a super lover girl. Like I have a whole love playlist like a whole r&b talk to me nice playlist that i put on like all the darn time if i'm in the shower if i'm cleaning if I'm, like i'm listening to that but some artists that i recently have really grown to enjoy that are like more on the r&b side because i can't do all the hippie hop all that all the time like i know I, like you know i'm 33 now i can't be listening to all that in my ear you know what i'm saying like there's too much for my eardrums but i wanted to share these and put y'all on in case you're not on but October London uh, it's I don't know if he's considered R&B or soul but talk to me nice and then Leon Thomas yeah talk to me nice and it was somebody else I'm having a rotation oh Isaiah Falls so like I don't know I'm in my R&B era like I've really been enjoying the slower more I don't know the word. Serenading music. Is that the right word? I don't know. More so than rap and hip hop. But don't get me wrong because when J. Cole drops the fall off, I'm absolutely gonna listen to it. Absolutely gonna buy a front row ticket if I can. Like, don't, not too much now, not too much. But yeah, I've really been loving our view. I still got 30 minutes. You got 30 minutes? Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have going on today. We were originally supposed to meet at a coffee shop, but I was running behind at the gym, so we're not gonna do that. However, I am hungry, so once I leave from there, from the Airbnb, I am going to stop somewhere and get something. I just feel like nine times out of 10 is gonna be sushi. Like that sushi restaurant I went to, the other night was just so darn good y'all like why not run it back you know what i'm saying like why the heck not so i may do that if i can make it back without stopping to get something i don't have any groceries i need to place an order for those as well but yeah we outside not really but we outside a little bit i want to go to the park i always want to do something but do i actually do it um, Cause it's not super hot, at least not yet. It's 12:32, 31 minutes. What is happening? This is strange behavior. Use the right one, y'all. Houston is humongous. Absolutely, it's so big. And when I say Houston, yes, Houston the city, but like also the surrounding areas that like are Houston. Speaking of, let's go ahead and talk about it. So take the exit. Okay, girl. 
Go okay. past this light, then at the next one, turn left. So remember how... 66? What was I thinking? Alright, so remember how... Like, I went to go look at townhouses, homes, houses, whatever, the other week. And how, like, I do have a desire to have a house. My bad, y'all. Y'all sliding every which way. I've been taking these... Stay in the second lane from left. I've been taking these curves like nobody's business. Okay, so I was looking at places, right? Didn't find anything. I've also been looking online. Haven't found, like, even, like, the rental homes, like, the communities or whatever that I interested in and location wise and everything so let me preference this by saying i am a habitual mover <laughs> in four miles the longest i've ever lived somewhere was when i was in richmond i lived there i think for four years like when i say stay like in the same exact apartment otherwise i move every single year and i don't know if that's a good trade or what but i feel like perhaps my time in houston has come to an end and I'm wondering what that looks like for me next. I do know for sure that I'm moving regardless when my lease is up. I just don't know whether it will still be in Houston or not. And those are the type of things that I'm currently praying about. But while it might seem like I do moving series every year, it's because I do. Every 15 to 18 months, it's because I do. But yeah, we're going to see what's next for us. Um, I'm so thankful and appreciative that I've gotten the opportunity to live in Houston. Uh, it was fun. It's been fun. It's been cool. I don't feel like it's giving me what I need. In two miles, keep left. In this season of my life. And I mean, the thing about moving, you can always move again. I can always move again. I can, it doesn't have to be permanent unless I get that house and then it's more permanent. Um, but again, with the interest rates the way they are, like, Ferguson, I don't foresee that happening right now. Unless God says otherwise. But yeah. So, by the time my lease is up, I've been in Houston for four years. And I've lived in four. I've lived in three different apartments. Listen, one thing I'm going to do is move. But I want to make sure I do it right. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to just pick somewhere and go. Like, I want to do my research. I want to visit. I'm gonna pray about it, like all of those things. I want it to be in alignment with whatever God's will is, so yeah. We're moving. I'm pretty sure of it. It's this like my friends are trying to talk me out of it. And I get what they're saying, like, and that's I feel like that's gonna be the most difficult part is um I've made such amazing friends here and like having to say see you Use later. The left three lanes to keep left. Having to say see you later. But of course, I'll take y'all along that journey. In about 14 miles. Keep 14 right. miles? I still have 25 minutes? That's not possible, y'all. I've been talking for 13 minutes. What the heck? Houston scares me. I'm going to be honest. Like, I don't go into the city because it literally scares me. If I do go, I drive. I mean, I Uber. And I'm with people. Like, it feels unsafe. I know every city has their own unsafeness. Like, uh, okay, I'm gonna listen to music. I ain't got nothing else to talk about. I love the gel on that part. See you later.
So it's about time to close out this vlog. But first, I wanted to share this with y'all. I have a package I got today. And I've been wanting this. I've been wanting this for at least like eight months. And I finally caved and got it because I really just want to bring like the best quality I can to the channel. So we're going to unbox it together. I've been holding on to it all day just so you and I could like have this experience together. So let's unbox it. Okay, I didn't even cut it good enough. Look at that, 15 millimeter, 1.4. Y'all, we upgrading the lens. We're finally upgrading this kit lens. And I even got a Tiffin um, filter. It's just a UV filter, I believe. Yeah, to protect the lens as well. All right. So, let's see. While I have like different lenses for my bigger camera, like, let me show you real quick. Okay, so this is my bigger camera that I use like um, for some, sometimes for like B-roll or in the gym, like this is it. Or if I'm doing photography for like BAM or somebody, then I'll also use this lens and pair it with it because this is a 24 to 70 G Master. So this is my baby. Like this right here is quality. And y'all probably, I don't know if you noticed or not, but like some of the B-roll that's in this video, like me um, organizing. That was shot with this. Absolutely amazing, worth every single penny. The lenses that I use on this camera, I can't use with this camera. It just doesn't make sense. This 35 millimeter is what I use the most in the gym. If I am recording myself, I will use this 35 millimeter. Yes, because this is just way too big to be chugging around. And then I have an 85 millimeter, which I rarely get to use, but I actually really, really love it. It just zooms everything in. Okay, I know you didn't ask for this photography lesson, but there's that. So this lens is for you guys and it's for this camera. So let's take a look at it together. Yeah, I've been waiting so long to get this. Oh, thank goodness. All right, so it's not that heavy, thankfully. Um, again, this is a 15 millimeter, 1.4 and it's a G lens so not quite a g master but still better than um no g i guess but yes all right so i'm gonna put it on and y'all tell me if you can see a difference okay so this is me right here right now mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and now let's see it with this on okay i'm back can y'all see a difference i think i can from here but i probably won't be able to tell until i go to edit this but I finally upgraded you. All right, so this is the new. Yeah, y'all can't tell me it's not clear. It's definitely clear. Oh, I can't wait to go look at this when I edit it. But also, this is the end of the vlog, y'all. Uh, thanks so much for rocking with me over this past week. Um, I know it's been like a little gap in my uploads but i'm going to try to get back on it and upload more consistent please don't forget to like comment and subscribe um, it definitely helps the channel it helps push it out to other people who may be interested as well so if you find my videos to be useful entertaining uh i don't know what other synonyms to use um go ahead and like and of course i always love engaging with y'all so leave a comment you know but i'll see you in the next weekly vlog